Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We, we're going to show you how to create tool tips for your Divi site today using a bit of absolute positioning. We've got an image here. If I roll over this, there's the mountains. There's a castle. There's some trees. There's a little spaceship. And it's totally responsive if we check it out on an iPad and iPhone. I'm using Google Chrome with the inspector tools here. If I hit F12, here we are on an iPad Air. As you can see, they're positioned in the same areas. Obviously on an iPad, they're gonna to have to click rather than just hover. But the little icons there should give them a hint that there's something to click on. Now let's check it on an iPhone perhaps. And there it is. And again, I make it a bit bigger. There it's still over the mountains. Again, you've got a click. But it'll work just fine. Great, well, let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down. I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside the section, I've got a row, the green tab. I'm going to delete that. We'll start from scratch. Okay, we'll add your row. You can put anything you want in here. Obviously, an image is going to work best, I guess. I'm going to put a single column in mine. And funny enough, I'm going to add an image module. And I'll use that same image. It's got a few different things we can tooltip to. There it is. While I'm in here, I'm just going to go to the advanced attributes. Take away that when you hover over it, it puts the name up there. I don't want that, so I'm going to take that away. Okay, let's start creating our tooltips. I'm going to hit the little dark button to add a new module right underneath our new one. Same row. I'm going to use a blurb for this today because it's got the icon and the text. If we roll down, there it is right there. And I guess I'm going to get rid of the title. I'll leave some of this content. You don't want to put too much content in a in a tooltip, but that's entirely up to you. But I will give it a little title. The mountains. As we're going to put this on the mountains there. Image and icon. I want to use an icon for this today. So I'm going to switch the little switch there to on. And I'll use a sort of little button type, radio button type thing there. That's great. Don't want any link. I am going to give our module a background color. I'm going to use black. But of course you use what you want to use. Let's move over to our design now. Image and icon. I'm going to make my icon white. I want my actual icon to be on the left hand side there. Just like that. That works. You can make it bigger or smaller with the icon width there. Don't need any more borders or anything like that. Okay, let's make that text light in color so we can see it. I've just clicked on the little paintbrush by the text there. It'll take you straight to it. I'm going to make it white in color. And perhaps for my mountains, maybe I'll make that bold so it stands out a bit better. So back to my content and text. There's the mountains. I'm going to bold it out. If you want to, you can turn it into a heading, two, three, four, five, whatever you want to. But I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, we want to shrink this down there and keep it on the left hand side there. Because really all I want to see at first is that little button right there. So back over to design, let's go to sizing. Content width, I'll leave it on the default there, but the actual width it's itself, I'm going to take way down. You'll see it shrinking a little bit too much there. Just get it so it's sort of square with your icon there. I think I did a pixel value of perhaps 32. So if I put 32px in there, that's about right. And I want the same height as well. So if we roll down, that way it's going to be a square. Under the height, I'm also going to put 32 pixels. Great. You can't see it, but that text is actually here. If I roll over it, you can see it spilling down into that little dark section at the bottom there. We don't want to see any of that. 
until we actually hover over it. And I'll fix that in a moment. So to fix that, I go over to advanced, down to visibility, horizontal and vertical overflow. I'm going to change both of those to hidden. But if I hover over it now, you're not seeing it spill out down the bottom there. So all we're seeing is our little icon there. Fantastic. But of course, when somebody hovers over it, I want it to expand so they can see the text inside. So back to the design and sizing. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing with inside a module, you'll see some little icons appear. Go to the thing you want to affect, my width. If there's a little arrow there, we can set a hover state and a desktop state. Desktop states are when the mouse is not on it. We're leaving it just as it is at 32 pics. When they hover over it, on the little arrow there to set a different value. Let's take it up. Make it as wide as you want it there. As you can see, it's expanding as I do it. And you're seeing the text come in. I'm guessing, let's try perhaps 200 pixels. We'll try 150 first and take it up from there. That looks about right width wise. Let's see how the text looks inside with the height. So height, again, I'm going to roll up over, hit the little arrow. And let's just roll that up and we'll slide this up to reveal our text down below. That's okay. I think I want to make it a bit wider. So let's roll back up to the height. Maybe we take that up to 180. Let's round it up to 200. And we'll give it a little padding, a little bit high there. So I'm going to take that perhaps to 180 also. That's great. Let's go down to our spacing now. Get a little bit of padding on the bottom, say 10 pixels. And I'll do the same for the left and right. The top I'm going to leave just as it is. But I don't need any on the left. Yeah, that works pretty well. Adjust yours, obviously, how you want to adjust yours. But that seems to work for me. So remember, we're on the hover state right now. If I just go in here, click the arrow and just flip it back to desktop state, you'll see we've just got our little icon there. Great. OK, well, let's position it now. I'm going to go over to advanced. Down to position, funnily enough. Let's roll this image down and we want to put this somewhere over our mountains here because that's what it says on it. OK, I'm going to change the position from default to absolute. And it'll pop up with a little matrix there. Top left corner is fine, but I want to position it a little bit more with vertical and horizontal offset. I'm going to use percentage for this today, so it'll translate to mobile and tablet also. I want to push it down by perhaps 30 or 40%, bring it across by maybe 10%. So let's try 40% here, 40 and the percent sign. That's about right. I think that's what I used before actually. Horizontal, let's try 10 and percent again. It's kind of in our mountains. Great, well, that's about where I want it, but it's kind of very, stands out a lot there. I'm going to take the opacity down a bit so it's a little more subtle until they actually hover over it. To do that, let's go to our design, down to the filters. If we roll down, we've got opacity there. And again, hover over, we'll get the little arrow up. On the regular desktop state, I want to take it down maybe to 60%. Let's fade it out a bit. We could try 50%. I think 60 is good because you want them to see it's there so they can actually hover over it. 50 is good too. I think we'll leave it just like that. But of course, when we hover over it, and it pops up. I want it to be fully visible so they can read that text and it's nice and sharp. Great. Well, that works for me. Now we've got that first one done. I'll just flip it back to desktop mode there. We'll save that. And doing the other ones is really easy. I'm going to flip to wireframe mode, hit the little purple button at the bottom, little icon on the left side, left hand side there, wireframe view. There's our image on top. There's our little blur module. And notice we're all in the same row. It's got to be in the same row or it won't work with the absolute positioning. I'm going to clone it or duplicate it with the little squares there. It's maybe one, two, three more. Obviously, do as many as you want. 
You can name these if you want to by going in there. And under the admin label, you can call it what you want. This is mountains, wasn't it? Now the second one, once we're in there, reason I'm doing it on wireframe mode is because they're all stacked on top of each other with absolute positioning. And sometimes you have trouble getting the things on the front end like that. So I'm on our second one there, which we'll call this one trees. And it's, they're all stacked under those there. So what we need to do is reposition so it's on top of whatever object you want it on. So I'm going to go to position again. This time, let's pop it on the bottom down there. And a vertical offset. Take that down to about 10% or 5%. 5% seems to work great. And horizontal, that looks to be about 20%, 25%. You can take it out. Let's try 20%. Not quite enough. 30%. Yep, yeah, that's on top of our trees. Obviously, you can adjust it up and down with those. And let's perhaps pop one on the castle. Again, I'll go to wireframe mode. We'll go into the next one. And we'll call it castle. This one positioning wise, I'm going to slap it straight in the middle. We can flip back once we're in there. If I pop it straight in the middle, should be on our car, so that's fine. If you want to adjust it, you want to take it top or bottom. That way you'll have a vertical and horizontal offset that you can play with. But for this particular thing, right in the middle is going to work perfectly for me. And I think we've got one more on that little flying thing. I'm calling it a spaceship. Again, we'll pop into wireframe mode. Last but not least. Of course, I didn't rename these, but here we go. And let's copy that. And that's what we'll call it with our admin label. And we can flip back whenever you're inside your module. This one will go down. Move this over here. I'm going to put it probably top right. So again, position. We're already on absolute. Let's pop it over here. <laughs> That's actually put it right by the spaceship. That's fine. We can adjust it a little bit. I don't actually want it on it because you can't see it really. So horizontal offset. Let's just take that down a little bit. And that's right there. Great. Okay. Well, the only thing I needed to do now that I omitted to do just now, mountains is fine. Trees, just need to change the mountain to trees. And I think same with the castle. We did the spaceship. Great. Let's save that. We'll save our draft. We'll publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. There it is, there's our image when we roll over. Our little tooltips are going to appear like that. That's great. Really easy to do. And like I say, it converts fine on tablet and mobile. Let's just check that. I'm going to hit my F12 key. Here we are on our iPhone. Let's have a look down here. Yep, they're all in this right place. Of course, we've got to click. Remember, I've got this 200% of the size here. <laughs> Trees, that's fine. Castle. And obviously, you'd want to change the content in yours. I was just using the default text there. And on an iPad, it should be positioned exactly right too. Let's go down iPad Air, perhaps. I'll make that a bit bigger. Yeah, still over the mountains there. That's great. That one's still over our trees. That one's still over the castle. And that one's still beside that little spaceship right there or whatever it is. <laughs> so there you go, guys. There's how to position tooltips over an image. Great little interactive feature to add to your Divi website. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, put them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.